All right, good morning, guys. Uh, let's carry on with the build on this uh, C4M Pro 4848 ball screw edition. So I've installed the two ball screws. Yesterday, you saw me, I got the whole frame put together with both end plates. Pretty fancy piece of kit so far. And this morning, I've got the ball screws in. Uh, they're only in loose right now because they'll be adjusted. There is some, some uh, movement for adjustment. And I will leave those loose for now until I get the gantry on. And then once the gantry is on, that will get snugged up in the correct place. Uh, one thing to note with this, on the back end there is a shim. That shim must be in there, otherwise the ball screw doesn't fit properly. It'll be, too, it'll be sloppy in there. But that shim is perfect distance. It's like bang on. So that's got to be there. Just remember that. That shim right there. All right, Coolio. Anyways, I measured out these uh, ball screws at uh, 20 millimeters. They're, uh, they're pretty beefy. There's my forefinger. So that's a, that's a beefy screw. There's no flex in those. None whatsoever. Okay, next to go on was this uh, front piece of extrusion. It just goes straight through with uh, captive bolts. Everything was perfectly lined up, and it doesn't get much better than that. The amount of rigidity that this added to this whole system is insane. It, it just completely firmed it right up, completely, 100%. All right, guys. So, again, I'm kind of winging the... Uh, the build up of this uh, I have no instructions I got a bunch of pictures from the guys but uh, yeah, working it out as I, as I go anyways um, here's my e-stop switch they sent it all wired up I highly doubt that it's going to be all pre-wired in the, uh, the the factory version the production version but you never know uh, so my e-stop which is going to go right here and I also have a probe wire here all pre-wired with a xlr type plug on it and it goes right next to the e-stop so e-stop here probe wire here and i'm going to throw them on right now all right so let's show my errors as well as my successes uh, one of these y rails i obviously have in backwards because you see that this flange is in that direction on this side in the opposite direction on the other making this obviously not the way it's supposed to be. So one of these, I'll check the pictures, and one of these I have installed upside down. I just gotta flip it, which isn't a big deal. Just three screws on each end, and it'll flip right over. Okay guys, so I got all the cross members in. I fixed my error over here. Had a little bit of a snafu on my part and stripped a screw, but uh, nothing that a drill and an easy out wouldn't take care of. Uh, anyways, time to put the gantry on, I think. Uh, I'm going to do it anyways. Uh, there's an easy way to put a gantry on when you're by yourself. Uh, it's probably the hardest thing to do by yourself, but where there's a will, there's a way. So you'll see I've got my gantry laying across the back here. I left bubble wrap on it just to protect it. Why not? I've got one screw ready to go in the bottom corner and the allen keys in it and everything and you'll see there's the bearing block right there so basically all i have to do is rotate this gantry down to get that single screw in do the same on the other side and then i just need to rotate the entire thing on that screw and too easy okay so there you go 30 seconds later i have one screw in each side right down here so now I can pivot this whole thing up onto the other bearing block and install another screw. And then the rest of the seven, eight, six more screws, whatever. Good math. Okay guys, so that's uh, pretty much it for me for today. Uh, it's Mother's Day. So best go spend some time with mama. Anyways, that's where she rests. Gantry's still sitting down. I haven't put it up yet. I think I will actually get some help on that one. Uh, the gantry's really heavy on this, like super heavy. 
So I will leave it at that for today. I'll uh, see if I can get this video done up and uh, published. And we'll be back at her uh, tomorrow, probably. All right. Have a great weekend, guys. Happy Mother's Day.